how the people are doing. So, the Galaxy Buds Pro are in the house and, well, we'll talk all about it, but first and foremost, as usual, we will do a little unboxing, a small one, obviously, because, you know, these are truly wireless earbuds, you don't really get much in the box as such. So, slicing things open, we are instantly greeted by the Galaxy Buds Pro. Now, don't throw that lid away yet, it's got something in there, a little box with some paperwork. So moving on to the buds themselves, we obviously want to rip away that plastic. Now is it just me or do these look a little bluish because you know I, I got the silver version, I just think they look cool but yeah they do appear a little bluish at least the case. And now next up we have another box in there and this one's got the cable USB type C to A and the ear tips. Now the ear tips, these could be pretty important for quite a few people because at least for me, the default option that we got in there, that just wasn't the right fit. So, you know, don't just throw them away. So yeah, that is it. That's all we get in the box. And yeah, it's, it's a fair amount obviously. But now let's talk about the overall design. I think, yeah, it looks exactly like the Galaxy Buds Live. And if you have used the Galaxy Buds Live, you know that this case, it's neat. It's very good. But like opening it right up, well, the magnets, they are definitely better because previously the hinge and the magnets, they felt kind of lackluster, let's call it, for the Galaxy Buds Live. But this one, it feels good. Obviously, do keep in mind, these are just first impressions. So, you know, I'm not doing a review or anything yet. I have to use it a little bit longer. So yeah, overall, the magnets are definitely better. But what is Without question, one of the biggest upgrades for the Galaxy Buds Pro is that we have matte finish for every single color option. We have a matte silver or more of a matte bluish silver and then we have matte black as well. And so yeah, matte finish unquestionably it is just amazing. No questions asked. Now the earbuds, they are made differently because not only do these kind of resemble the Galaxy Buds Plus from last year, not the Live, the Galaxy Buds Plus. These are in the style earbuds. And secondly, they do have a glossy finish. You can see a very shiny silver on this one. I think that's kind of what drew me into the silver color as a whole. A matte finish may have been nice, but you know, this is quite flashy. Nonetheless, I think that the lack of a good wingtip that might cause some problems like you know i haven't used it long enough to really comment on whether or not it's comfortable and how the fit is but i do have a feeling just a tiny little feeling that the lack of a wingtip will kind of make the fit overall suffer just a tad maybe so with that in mind i think the design's great i doubt anyone's really gonna have a problem with these as such but now the sound quality well, these are more expensive earbuds, they have the Pro Monica in there, so as you'd expect, these should have much better sound quality. We do have this dual driver system wherein we have a low-end bass and mid-tones handler and then a tweeter as well. So yeah, the sound quality, if it's anything like last year, I have high hopes for them. And apparently, it's supposedly gotten better compared to the Galaxy Buds Plus and the Galaxy Buds Live. Well, they had some of the best highs and the best trouble that I'd ever heard in any truly wireless earbuds. I hope that carries over and maybe even improves a little. And the bass, I have high hopes for that as well because you know, the dual driver system, it is there for maybe that only reason. And yeah, sound quality, it could be fantastic. Now, one more thing that could aid the sound quality is the presence of active noise cancellation. Now, this active noise cancellation is going to be the proper ANC, not that um, halfway thing we had with the Galaxy Buds Live. Because, you know, the Galaxy Buds Live's design as a whole was the open style. It wasn't in here and because of that ANC, it couldn't really do anything as such. Now, these, these are in your style. So... I really hope that ANC is just as good as they are hyped up to be. Now, of course, these earbuds have a ton of microphones, like all around. Obviously, you need that for good active noise cancellation. So, yeah, it seems like from a microphone count, there are quite a few of them. But another major feature that these microphones have 
is that it'll use voice detection meaning that when you start talking and like you have media playing you have active noise cancellation on and the moment you start talking it'll pick that voice up and basically lower active noise cancellation give you ambient sound and also lower media volume just automatically and that is well something i'm kind of skeptical about but also severely hyped up because you know a feature like that if it works properly then it's a game changer in my opinion it just makes using these earbuds so much easier now secondly the ambient mode well it's also supposedly gotten quite a bit better because last year we had this feature and well it it didn't really work that well like let's face it it wasn't that good especially on the galaxy buds plus but this one i do hope it is because well you'll know all about it in the review whether or not it really feels as nice and as natural but you know the hardware is all there it's been again hyped up quite a bit so i'm really hoping that it is actually amazing this time around so the galaxy buds pro i think this is like the earphones that could in some way compete with the standard that the apple's airpods pro have set now fact of the matter is apple's airpods pro they are amazing they are fantastic like one of the best in class noise cancellation some of the best ambient mode and transparency mode as a whole now this one it has a lot to prove it needs to be fantastic as well like it costs 200 bucks just 50 dollars less than the airpods pro and that means that the galaxy buds pro have to at least like match in some ways and means to the airpods pro you know it doesn't have to actually beat it because at the end of the day it is slightly lower in price tag now speaking of which the battery life it's also quite a bit lower compared to both the airpods pro and the previous galaxy buds devices as such because if you remember correctly the galaxy buds plus from last year it had a 11 hour battery life from the buds themselves this one it's not that good it gives a total of 18 hours and like gives you around six to seven hours of battery life with the buds themselves now of course there's a lot more going on here there's the microphones with the noise cancelling the ambient modes you know you use all those features you're gonna obviously drain quite a bit of battery understandable but you know not having that tremendous battery life i might end up missing it a little at least we'll see obviously in the review i'll talk about how much of it actually bothered me and you know if it's really that big a deal and that big a sacrifice we'll know soon enough so yeah i think i think it's gonna be very fun just testing these out as a whole because you know basically the galaxy buds pro seem at least like they appear to be one of the most refined earbuds that samsung has ever produced sure it costs quite a bit more compared to the previous iterations but i mean it's it's supposedly very good so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, do that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will be seeing you guys later. Cheers.